It's the Mariners post game podcast. Just wrapped up the call of game 38. The Mariners fall for the 10th time in the last 11 games by a final of 4 to 1 here at home against the Braun Born Braves. David Sugarman alongside Austin Rooney. And while the last couple of games, the Mariners offense had begun to come along, six runs in each of the last two games, they only score one run tonight. That's right. There were definitely some hard hit balls, and they put up some hits. I believe they had seven hits in tonight's game. There were some hard hit balls. Beerling had a triple, of course. And, of course, there were a couple of deep flyouts that could have been home runs at other parks, whether it be the uh, deep flyout from uh, back in the first inning with Jonathan India, who hit a ball probably 395 feet, or Kobe Vance, who hit one maybe 380 feet in the seventh inning. If either of those balls had gotten out of here, it would, it would have been a, a 4-4 game as opposed to a 4-1 game. But, unfortunately, the Harwich Mariners just were unable to get the big hit when they needed it. They had times when they had the bases loaded, and they were just unable to get that hit to uh, really put them back into the game and get them some put some runs on the board. Pitching wise, the starting pitching was very good tonight. Jacob Billingsley goes six inning, gives up just two runs, both of those in the third. Fortunately, Brian Christian came in and over the last three innings he struggled some, giving up two home runs, both to Zach Susi. That's right. So again, Jacob Billings, I thought he was really, really good, had all of his pitches working. Uh, again, I think that the real key for him, and we've talked about it already earlier this season, is making sure that he does not run into control issues. And that was, that's was that been a problem with him in the past, but he's really done a great job over his last three starts limiting the walks. And when we've seen him limit the walks, his, uh, his pitching statistics have really been fantastic. Uh, again, earlier in the season when he allowed nine walks and nine and two his innings, he really struggled, allowed a lot more runs. Over the last uh, 18 innings of work now, only think about three or four walks, and he's only allowed three earned runs during that time period. So he has been really, really good as of late. So I think that Jacob Billingsley has really made a uh, nice recovery from the start of the year, and he's done so by having really strong control. So the Mariners with the loss tonight, and we just found out a few minutes after our game went final that Brewster won, and that's officially going to eliminate the Mariners from playoff contention over the last six games of the season. What do you want to see out of the Mariners? It's a team that's really continued to play hard, even though they've been behind the eight ball the majority of the second half of the season. Yeah, you look for definitely certain guys to definitely really step it up and try to you know, try to get as many uh, – you know, hits and do as well as you possibly can from individual performances as well from the team perspective. Again, just trying to keep the team battling, keep the team fighting, and you know, try to put up a couple of more wins before the end of the season here and uh, have a respectable record here at the end of the season. The Mariners fall to the Bourne Braves by a final of 4-1. to one. Back at home tomorrow night to take on the Katuit Cavaliers for a 6.30 start. We'll be back at it, Austin and I. Until then, saying so long one more time from White House Field. The Bourne Braves 4, the Harwich Mariners 1.